Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at bash scripts and we're going to be looking at uh, fallback variables. So you might be wanting to get user input from a user and you know sometimes if they don't give you input you ask them again but sometimes if they don't give input you're going to want to have a variable you fall back to. So if they just leave it blank you're like okay this is the default. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to create a, very, a script. I'm going to call it uh, my.sh, I guess it doesn't matter. And we're going to start off with a shebang line. Again, the shebang line is just telling the operating system we want to use this interpreter. In this case, we're going to use bash. Um, and of course, we can say something like echo dollar sign one. Uh, just to review, now we'll make that executable. Uh, to review this, if I run my script now, nothing happens. Uh, well, it echoes out a blank line. But if I say Chris, it says Chris. Uh, if I say Chris John, it's just going to say Chris. Uh, and the reason for this is uh, dollar sign one is the first argument given. So we want to have a script that says uh, hello, whatever is given. So now I can run this. I can say I'm Chris and it says hello. But if I leave it blank, now it just says hello, which is, I guess, still works in a lot of scenarios. But let's just pretend it doesn't. We want we want to show a name, and it's going to be whatever our default name is. Uh, so let's go back in here to our script, and I'm using Vim as my text editor. I feel like free to use whatever text editor you like, as long as it's not like a word processor, because that will screw things up. And what we want to do is we want to set our variable of name, and here we're going to say echo name. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say name equals, and then we're going to say dollar sign curly brackets one colon dash and then here we're going to give a name i'll just say john okay so what are we doing here here we're saying our dollar sign in uh curly brackets um with the one is saying again it's just like before number one argument it's saying okay we're setting name equal to whatever the number one argument is but if neg uh number one argument is blank fill in john so that should be all we should have to do now now I can run my script and I can type in Chris and it says hello Chris, but if I leave that blank, it will say hello John. So that will default to John if we don't give another name. Uh, going back in here, we can also ask for something. So here I can say use the read command, dash P to print a message, and I'll say how old are you? And I can put that, and then we're going to give a variable of age, and then we can say echo dollar sign name is dollar sign age years old. And here, if I run my script, uh, I can put in Chris and it say Chris, hello Chris, how old are you? I'll say 88. And it'll say Chris is 88 years old. If I leave that blank, it will say hello John, how old are you? I'll say 44 and it says John is 44 years old. If I run that and I leave my age blank now it's going to say john is blank years old and we don't want that so going back into our script what we're going to do is here is we're going to ask them for their age but then we're going to check we're going to say age equals so we're overriding our age variable in whatever case it is and then we're going to say age colon dash and here we'll say 33. so now what's going to happen is I'm going to run my script. If I leave the name blank, it's going to say, hello, John, how old are you? And I can say 22 and it will say you are 22 years old. If I run it and I leave the age blank, it will now say John is 33 years old. And I can give it a name. I can say Chris and it says, hello, Chris, you are, uh, or how old are you? And I can leave that blank, it will say 33. But if I do this, I can say 38 and we'll put in 38. Uh, and of course you can do this for whatever variables you want. Um, and here we can also give another example. Uh, we can say, I'm just trying to think of another example. Uh, if we wanted to, instead of asking them for their age here, I can change this to dollar sign two. So I can make the second argument uh, checked there. So now I can say, uh, my shell, I can say, hello, John, John is 33 years old. If I say, Chris, now let's say, hello, Chris, Chris is 33 years old. And uh, here I can say 88, and so we'll say, hello, Chris, Chris is 88 years old. So I replace the second argument in that case. And of course, if they have, want to give their full name, we can say Bob Smith. Uh, inside quotations, it'll say 
Hello, Bob Smith. Bob Smith is 88 years old, but if I leave that blank, it will say Bob Smith is 33 years old. So I'm hoping this is making sense. Pretty straightforward uh, because uh, it's just the variable right in here, and it's saying colon minus, so colon dash, and then whatever you want the default to be. So if it's blank at this point, it will be replaced with whatever's here. And that is pretty much it. That's creating fallback default variables uh, so that if a variable is blank, it will fall back to the defaults. I hope you found this useful. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Please, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Link in description. Like, share, subscribe. Also check out my Patreon in the description. Have a great day.